Hail. Good morning, sir. Welcome to the Imperial Palace. Where is Martin? I was told that he had arrived in the capital. Everything is ready for Martin's arrival. Don't worry. Where is Martin? I've been expecting you. The full council has already considered the matter of Martin's claim to the Imperial Throne in detail. Martin Septim, on behalf of the Elder Council, Chancellor I accept your claim to the Imperial Chancellor Throne. Ocado! We should arrange... Chancellor Okado, the city is under attack. Oblivion gates have opened and Daedra are inside the walls. The guard is overwhelmed. Courage, soldier. We have an emperor again. Your Highness, what are your orders? Shall the guard fall back to the palace? No. If we let ourselves get besieged in the palace, we're doomed. We must get to the Temple of the One immediately. As you command, sire. Guards, form up and protect the emperor. To the Temple of the One. We're too late. Merun's Dagon is here. Lighting the dragon fires will no longer save us. The barriers that protected us from oblivion are gone. I don't see how. Mortal weapons may hurt him, but now that he is physically here in Tamriel, they have no power to actually destroy him. Wait, yes. The amulet was given to mortals by Akatosh. It contains his divine power. But how to use this power against Dagon? The amulet was not intended as a weapon. I have an idea, one last hope. I must reach the Dragonfires and the Temple of the One. You'll just have to trust me. I know now what I was born to do. Then I'll do the rest. Lead on, my friend. I...
I do what I must do. I cannot stay to rebuild Tamriel. That task falls to others. Farewell. You've been a good friend in the short time that I've known you. But now I must go. The dragon waits. The amulet is shattered. Dagon is defeated. With the dragon's blood and the amulet of kings, we have sealed the gates of oblivion forever. The last of the Septims passes now into history. I go gladly, for I know my sacrifice is not in vain. I take my place with my father and my father's fathers. The Third Age has ended, and a new age dawns. When the next Elder Scroll is written, you shall be its scribe. The shape of the future, the fate of the Empire. These things, now, belong to you. What happened? Where's Martin? I must congratulate him. Mayroon's Dagon is defeated. What do you mean, gone? We saw the Temple Dome explode. The Avatar of Akatosh appear. That was Martin? The joined blood of kings and gods. The amulet of kings. The divine power of Akatosh. Then, Martin is gone. Yes, sealed forever. Merun's Dagon and his ilk can never threaten Tamriel again. Martin is dead, but he died an emperor and a hero to rival Tiber Septim. This victory is not without cost. We've lost Martin Septim. What an emperor he might have made. His sacrifice was necessary. But it leaves the Empire without an Emperor. I don't know what happens now. There are troubled times ahead for the Empire. But now is not the time to worry about the future. Let's just give thanks that we're alive! In my capacity as Lord High Chancellor of the Elder Council, I hereby proclaim you Champion of Cyrodiil! And, as a small token of gratitude for your service to the Empire, I have ordered a suit of Imperial Dragon armor made for you. <laughs> Imperial Dragon armor is normally worn only by the Emperor himself. We are now the stewards of the Empire. But, to be honest, I don't know what will happen. With no legitimate claimant for the Dragon Throne, Troubled times lie ahead. I know he's gone. As the Chancellor of the Elder Council, my concern now is how to choose his successor. You have earned the highest rank possible in the Order of the Dragon. It is a high honor. The Dragon will stand forever as a memorial to what you and Martin did for all of Tamriel.
can't talk now. No, go away. I'm not here. I help you with only quality goods for sale here what can I interest you in make me a better offer a pleasure to safe travels The thought of what... But it's over. Be seeing you. When I saw the fiery... Be seeing you. Hello, guildmate. What can I do? Well met. Be seeing you. I'd stay back from that door if I were you. I don't know where it came from, and I don't want to. Look for yourself. Their brains are addled. Ha! It's your funeral. I'm just here to warn people, not keep them out. Go. A nice effort, though. Shame he's dead. <laughs> These things happen. Bring me a champion! Rend the flesh of my foes! A mortal champion to wade through the entrails of my enemies. Take a seat, please. Yes, what can I do for you? I imagine you're here about the door. Yes, you have entered and now you are here. Amazing, truly. I am Haskell, Chamberlain to the Lord Sheagorath. You approach the Shivering Isles. Through the door behind me lies the realm of Sheogorath, Prince of Madness, Lord of the Never There. Because my Lord wills it to be so, it poses no danger to Mundus. No compact has been violated. It is a doorway, an invitation. For you? I do not know. My lord seeks a mortal to act as his champion. His will is his own. His reality follows suit. You are here because you chose to enter. You were not summoned. They entered this realm and were ill-prepared. Their minds are now the property of my lord. Cured? You speak as if they are diseased. 
they live now in another state of being. You do as you will. You may leave the way you entered. Your life will be none the worse for your time spent here. Or you may continue onward through the door behind me. If you can pass the gates of madness, perhaps the Lord Sheogorath will find a use for you. Who is to say? There are always choices to be made. The realm of madness is no different in that regard. Enter or do not, but make your decision. I've Speak with me again when you have made up your mind. The anticipation is almost too much to bear. Well? Fine. I'm sure my lord will be most pleased, assuming you ever manage to see him. You'll want to pass through the gates of madness. Oh, and mind the gatekeeper. He dislikes strangers to the realm. Enjoy your stay.
Hello, I'm Sheldon. I've been here the longest. That's why I'm mayor of Passwall. Welcome to my town. He guards the gates of madness. See? The place was pretty deserted when I got here. They say the keys are sewn up in the gatekeeper's body. Sickly Bernice in Crucible believes she's dying. Don't feel bad that you're not as gifted as me. I'm Felis Sarandis. Don't breathe on me. He's pretty scary, isn't he? See you later. You dare stay away from the gatekeeper. Let us handle this. Try not to... It's a nice enough place. Less dirty than others. Pretty scary, isn't he? Jared's planning on killing him. Goodbye! I'm J. Red Ice Veins. Do you ever wonder why things look better without their skin on? For instance, you can only really see the bones when you take them out. You can hear them better that way, too. I want him dead. I need him dead. His bones are calling to me. If you're any good with a lockpick, we can help each other out. They say the gatekeeper's magical. I don't believe in magic, but I do believe in bones. And the best way to kill something is with the bones of its own. I can see the bones of a dead gatekeeper in the courtyard of the gardens. You'll pick that lock, and I'll collect the bones. Here, take this lock pick.
From these gatekeeper bones, I can make some arrows. Find me in a few hours. The arrow. We should go. The arrows are ready. Let's go kill the gatekeeper. The gatekeeper is slain. Congratulations. Goodbye. So, you've managed to kill the gatekeeper. Pity. Well, you'll now be able to enter the realm proper. You'll notice there are two doors. One leads to the lands of Mania, the other to Dementia. Enter through either one. The lands are quite distinct, but both are Sheagorath's domain. You'll want to seek out Lord Sheyagorath. The lands of Dementia reflect the darker side of its residents. If you wish to meet Dementia's citizens, seek them out in Deepwallow or Felmore. The lands of Mania are bright, vibrant, and full of color. If you wish to meet the residents of Mania, you'll find them in the settlements of Hale and Highcross, Though the citizens and creatures of Mania are colorful, they can often be quite deadly. It is, of course, the capital of the Shivering Isles. He is the Prince of Madness. You'll want to speak with him soon, as it is best not to make Lord Sheagorath wait. You will enter soon, I imagine, through... It is the realm of Lord Sheagorath. Tread lightly in the Isles. My work is never...